Hello everyone, this is a quick tutorial for a stage loader that I made a couple days ago. Um, this thing is fairly lagless except for when you first load the song. And semi-modular, so you can uh, change the stage as many times as you want, shouldn't be any lag, and you should have very few problems as long as it's coded correctly. So to start off, you got your arrays right here. Uh, the image array and the character array being the most important because those are used in the pre-cacher, which is what causes it to not lag as much. So for your image array, if I go over to this uh, field script, you're going to put all your uh, images for the stage in there. For the character array, you're going to put your characters in there. And when the pre-cacher is called, it's going to save all these characters and uh, pre-cache the images so that when they are switched out, shouldn't be any lag. So I'm going to close that real quick. Um, after that, you're going to want to create this on post, um, so that when you use the stage loader, it's able to fully load the stage. For some reason when you do it on normal create, that doesn't work sometimes, not sure why. But I haven't had any problem doing it like this. So, it's, so here as you can see, it's going to call stage 1. So if I go over to this field 1 that I made, calling stage 1, it's going to go down to the stage loader, it's going to call stage 1. Um, so when you do this, very important, first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you move any extra parts from the um, other stage. So in this case, this isn't actually necessary, but just like remember to clean up your stages uh, when calling a new stage between stages. Uh, that's actually what this here is for, is to stop the thunder from playing during the um, cleanup. But the first thing it does here is it's going to save the stage to the current stage so you can check it uh, every time this is called. And after that you can go down here. You're going to want to change your character. So for the opponent it's always going to be called dad, but for here, name it to whatever character you want. So like up here you can see it's spooky. So if you go down to here, you change uh, the dad character to spooky. Uh, that's just the name for player two. Um. And uh, this is just to make sure that the stage uh, transition is better. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do after that is uh, change what your camera values so that your camera is where you want it to be. And move your characters where they're supposed to be as well. Um, however, for the first stage you load, you're going to want to do this in the stage JSON still. So that it's not weird during the countdown. Um, after that, you're going to want to use I made a function for this, replace stage parts. You don't have to use this, but I think it cleans up the code quite a lot. So uh, make sure to reuse your names as much as possible. But um, as you can see, first you create a name for it, and then you're going to go to your image array and call the parts that you need. So you got one, two, or one, two, three, four, five, and six. So for stage one, we're going to want uh, one through four. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. And we call four twice because we need that image twice. Uh, so that's what that part is, is, the file name. Then you got your positions, uh, the scroll factor, the scale. If you want it to be on top or not, usually this is false. But if you want it to be like over your characters, uh, you can set that to true. And then here you can also set a um, tag for it. So like if we go down to the replace stage parts here, as you can see, uh, I have a tag for animated sprites that works a bit differently. But otherwise, you can call any of these. See, we have an invisible one, which makes it uh, load in invisible. We have one to flip stuff, and this one uh, center stuff, which can be fairly helpful. So that's uh, the stage loader and the replace stage. And as you can see here, same same idea. Replace the remove the ones you're not replacing, and then uh, replace the ones that you don't need to remove. Make sure you move your character. Make sure you change your character. And uh, this is just because it's a spooky stage. And then finally down here, as you can see. Um, I've also added a uh, sort of uh, check to make sure that uh, your stage actually exists. So if it doesn't exist, let me just switch to this real quick. Uh, look in the top right, or top left here. Uh, 
so as you can see here, uh, it'll tell you the stage couldn't be found. And I hard-coded the stages, so you can see it's stage 2. So it's saying stage 3 doesn't exist, and it just stays on stage 2. But otherwise, should be good to go. Uh, you can call these as many times as you want. If this was set to stage 1, it'd work perfectly fine. But, I think that's everything. If you have any questions, uh, you can ask me on the Discord server. Uh, I have the link to it up here, and I'll also put it in the description. And uh, if you have any suggestions, also go there. But otherwise, uh, I think that's everything that needs to be covered. I uh, hope this helps for anyone using this, uh, and thank you.